Yeah, I wanted the collection to be um, kind of a little bit playful. I wanted it to feel relaxed. I'd been looking at uh, images of um, uh, uh, David Hockney and Alan Bennett, the writer and the painter. So, I, you know, lots and lots of colour, but also I wanted it to be done in a way that wasn't kind of too intimidating. So it was kind of, you might have just a very simple, lightweight linen, um, uh, linen suit, but then it's kind of with these brush strokes of colour on the shoes or with the bags or with the sunglasses. Well, I think what we saw today was uh, something that was really happy and optimistic and I think also very stirring because with the backing of the London Philharmonic Orchestra live I think it was incredible and I think you know the collection is still showing a really British feeling but I think we've stepped it up a little bit and represented it in a more contemporary fashion I like the introduction that we have of the pastel shades in the seersucker um, the boating blazers um, it's a very British but modern collection. Uh, this is our Temple collection, so really it's a really big celebration of all the best shoes that we've made in the first 10 collections. So we uh, tweaked and changed the leathers and changed any little niggling thing that was wrong with them and made them much better. We added in a lot of new colours, not new leathers. There's about five or six new styles in there, so we had a complete men's wardrobe no matter what happens to the weather in the summer. Uh, it's called Do Me By Accident, uh, and it's the story of uh, sort of washed up old rock star uh, ambulating through southern states of America. Um, picks up a really hot chick in a diner, doesn't care too, too much, um, and has this sort of story with her. Uh, and that's the you know overall inspiration, and then it goes into more details. We've taken three sections, three parts of the Monaco Grand Prix um, and brought it all together as, as the collection as a whole. We're looking at the, the racing cars, taking the graphic, bold colours, the patterns on the racing cars. We looked at the crew, the pit stop, uh, more utility, workwear type um, clothing. And then also we have taken the true all of our brand customer, which is basically the spectator. And so referencing uh, them through linen, chinos, lightweight jackets that so we brought all three elements together as form the collection. The, the collection it has been inspired certainly by a place where I have a house where I've been living for a long time which is Mexico and uh, um, it's, it's the charreria, it's the man on a horse, it's the nobility of those, th those uh, chevaliers, those horse riders. Um, on top of that you have this guy called Zorro and I love the idea of Zorro because he's a man with a mask that is there to do good without asking for anything, for nothing at all in, uh, in exchange. So that's the point, how can we serve today uh, with our heart, with courage, coraggio from cuore, courage from here, uh, a country, a company, uh, nature, beauty, beauty basically, with our heart like Zorro, without asking for no reward. The collection um, has two inspirations. One is um, like 50s minimalism, Charles and Reims, they're very organic curves to use as cuts within the garments. And the other is um, a sort of very grungy, um, secondhand red and black uh, lumberjack shirt, or could be white and black lumberjack shirt, which I've taken and made it like either micro-sized, macro-sized or mega-sized, woven them into new fabrications, luxury fabrications or prints, and, um, and then sort of either mix them together or engineer them together with a new collection. It's uh, all about options, possibilities, uh, different silhouettes. Uh, we wanted to go back also to something very classic and to define also what luxury is now today. The collection this time was not about a virtual trip somewhere. It wasn't about Googling a country or a subject, but it was about leaving Google away. We went back to work with our eyes and to see how the eye is actually working. And that was the whole story. It's going back to the essence of what fashion is and what fashion should be. And it was not about creating an image, but it was about creating clothes. Yeah, I mean, the collection, uh, as, you, as you probably know from a year ago, it was very bright, vivid colours. Uh, this time I, I sort of mixed some bright vivid colours with more washed out colours and, uh, and the main thing was really the textures because I was mixing performance fabrics with very classical uh, smart suiting fabrics. 